teaching. Today we're going to look at two key words. So confusing words. So that we will know the correct way to use them in English grammar and the wrong way to avoid. Two key words today. We are looking at client and customer. Client and customer. Oftentimes they are confused. So, where do we use client and where do we use customer before we look at the examples on the board? Now you have to listen. We say a person can be a customer at a shop. We use customers when you come to shop, market, business, mini market, supermarket, shops. That is where you talk about customers. Customers. But a client is used when you talk about services. For example, law, like a lawyer, if you're a lawyer, you are going to have your client. You don't have customer. Insurance, you have your client. So maybe for services, you use client. And for goods, practical things you can sell, we use customers. Okay? Not every time. So here we look at client. So we say a person can be a customer at a shop, but a client of a lawyer, the same person, when he comes to a shop, becomes a customer. But when he comes to a lawyer, the person becomes a client. So it depends. If you are a person and you go to a shop, then you are a customer. But if you go to a lawyer, you are a client. Insurance companies, you are a client. Therefore, it is wrong to say, Lamin is a wealthy businessman and has many clients. No, no. Lamin is a wealthy businessman and has many clients. The correct way to say that is, Lamin is a wealthy businessman and has many customers. And has many customers. Okay? Wrong to say. The mini market has plenty of clients. No, no. The mini market has plenty of clients. The best, the correct way to say that is the mini market has plenty of customers. The mini market has plenty of customers. Wrong to say. Barista Livinos has a lot of customers. No, no, no. The correct way to say that is. Barista Divinos has a lot of clients. Has a lot of clients. Wrong to say, John is a good customer of the law firm. Of the law firm. The correct way to say that is, John is a good client of that law firm. Of that law firm. Wrong to say, Gambia Insurance Company can boast of many customers. No, the correct way to say that is Gambia Insurance Company can boast of numerous clients. Numerous clients. And so, that is that on clients and customers. Remember, we're looking at two key words. Client, customer. Client, customer. Let's go through that again. We say, a person can be a customer at a shop. A customer at a shop bought a client of a lawyer. Bought a client of a lawyer. And so on and so forth. So when you go to a shop, you are a customer. But when you go to a lawyer, you are a client. Therefore, it is wrong to say, Lamin is a wealthy businessman and has many clients. No. Say, Lamin is a wealthy businessman and has many customers. Wrong to say, that mini market has plenty of clients. No. Say, the correct way to say that is, that mini market has plenty of customers. Wrong to say, number three. Wrong to say, Barista Livinos has a lot of customers. No, no, no. 
The correct way to say that is Barista de Venus has a lot of clients. Wrong to say, number four, John is a good customer of that law firm or that legal company. No, say, John is a good client of that law firm or that legal company. Number five, wrong to say, Gambia Insurance Company can boast of numerous customers. No, say, Gambia Insurance Company can boast of numerous clients. Can boast of numerous clients. And that is that on uh, customer and client. The way, the correct way to use them in English grammar. Correct way to use them in English grammar. If you love our video, if you like our video, share, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up.